A very basic example of implicit differentiation would be when you were given the equation x squared plus y squared equals 7 and asked to find the derivative of y with respect to x. Find the derivative of y with respect to x. So our final answer when, it, when being asked to find the derivative of y with respect to x will take the form dy over dx equals or y prime equals. That's what we're trying to find, the derivative of y with respect to x. And that's going to require us to when we take the derivative of each term individually to think about the fact that we're differentiating with respect to x. The first term, x squared's derivative with respect to x is simply 2x. Basic power rule for differentiation can be applied there with nothing else required because we're differentiating with respect to x and the variable in that term is x squared. However, the second term involves a variable of y. And if we're differentiating with respect to x, implicit differentiation is required. And what that means is we're going to take a look at y squared, apply the power rule to y, but then we're going to have to chain on, at the end of that term, the derivative of y with respect to x, which I'm going to represent with y prime. On the other side of the equation, 7, the derivative of 7 with respect to x is 0. The derivative of any constant with respect to x or any variable is 0. The next thing I'm going to do, because I want to solve for y prime, because I want to get the y prime by itself, I'm going to move the factors that do not involve a y prime to the other side of the equation. So that simply means, in this case, to subtract 2x from both sides of the equation. And finally, we're now a step away from isolating y prime or uh, writing the derivative in the form y prime equals. We'll simply divide both sides of the equation by 2y. And we have y prime equals negative 2x over 2y. Or in lowest terms, negative x over y. For the equation x squared plus y squared equals 7, the derivative of y with respect to x is negative x over y.